Well, Kieran Reid, um, I suppose the first thing that comes to mind is uh, he's taken my job as uh, captain here at the Crusader, so uh, him and I don't get on that good. <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to keep up, really. Um, <laughs> he's done a fantastic job. Probably the biggest thing um, that I've noticed over the last few years since when I first started was just his trans transformation with his clothes. You know, sometimes it comes off, sometimes it doesn't, but I guess whenever you're, you're trying to lead the way in, in fashion, you're always going to have your hits and misses. To be leading the way, you've got to be a bit risky. So there's always going to be some misses, I'm, I'm sure. Some of the clothes he decides to wear aren't really uh, in the loose forward mould. He hangs around a lot with Andy Ellis, and you can definitely see that it, it rubs off him a little bit, his dress sense. Rito's dressing very well, yeah, it's fair to say. Um, it's good to see him almost itch away from the loose forward mould of wearing full Adidas kit. Man, I think it probably goes back to my school days, you know. I was a bit eclectic, I guess. Um, you know, the op shop certainly got a good running when I was back at school and things, so, um, you know, I always had it in me, and I think I've probably gone back to that style, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Sorrento's a hell of a dancer. He's got quite a few moves. He's, uh, yeah, he's sort of a little bit alternative on the dance floor, to be, to be fair. It's probably after, you know, you're enjoying a night, and it's a bit later on that I'll get the moves out, I think. He's often one of the first ones out there, which is, which is kind of awkward. Um, <laughs> If the mood gets me in the right way. But I guess you've got to have someone someone to follow and, and as a great leader that we all know he is, um, it's good, good to have someone out there first. It's Rito. He's, uh, you know, he's not afraid to put himself out there and be himself. I guess, it, well, I guess that's what makes him so special. First time I ever room with him, woke up in the middle of the night to, just give me the ball, give me the ball. And I was like, what's going on here? Unbeknown to me, but he's a bit of a notorious sleepwalker. Yeah, I was the new guy on the block, I guess, and room with big white crockets, but intimidating sometimes, so. Got up in his undies, walked out, out the door, and, uh, and then woke up. Bit disorientated, I guess, for a wee while. <laughs> Didn't really want to wake up the big fella, so. He was so shy and, and, uh, and polite that he, that he wouldn't want to knock on the door to wake me up. Went down in the elevator and <laughs> Make sure no one was around. Ran across to reception and got a new key. <laughs> Red actually got a lot of his base fitness uh, through rollerblading. No one knows that really. Um, rollerblading through Papakura when he was a young fella. That's where he sort of got that core strength through his, through his legs and lower back, um, through driving and punching off the, the blades. There's not too much of it down here, so uh, when you do get out, people look at you sideways. I know he's still got his, his, his elbow pads and knee pads. It's a shame we don't see him uh, rollerblading into rugby park a bit more. When he first came to Crusaders, he's a professional rugby player as if he'd been here for years. And I sort of thought, well, this is the next Ruben Thorne, you know. The impact he has on a game is just huge. He'll just come up with that, that tough carry that you need or, or a big tackle. He's also a player that he makes the other players around him better. He'll never ask you to do something that he wouldn't um, do himself. He's one of those you know, once-in-a-lifetime players, I think. He's what a Crusader man is all about, you know. He's uh, honest, he's hard-working, he's loyal. He's such a good man, he's a good mate. A top bloke who works hard and uh, is a top top rugby player who I love playing alongside. Epitomises what it is to be a Crusader. Congratulations, Rito, on your 100th cap. And congratulations on the 100th. Congratulations on 100th, mate. Well done, big guy, you, you really deserve it. Well deserved, and uh, I'm sure there's many more to come. I'm so stoked from that he, he can join the 100 club, and be very proud of it, and his family would be very proud and um, stoked from got, got you back for life, mate.